Before we get started with this video, I would like to mention that you can get started with part two of this series, which is the Blue Team series, by clicking on the link in the description section, where you will be required to provide your first name, last name, email and company, after which uh, you'll be provided with instant on-demand access uh, to the videos included in part two of this series. Uh, these videos include host-based intrusion detection with OSSEC, uh, memory acquisition with Lime, memory forensics, disk analysis, Docker image analysis, and incident response with FireEye Redline. So do be sure to check this out. Uh, the video is 100% free. All you need to do is register and uh, you'll be able to access the videos. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Blue Team training series brought to you by Linode and Hackersploit. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to set up or how to perform security event monitoring with Splunk, more specifically uh, Splunk Enterprise Security, right? So the objective here will be to monitor uh, intrusions and threats with Splunk. And uh, you might be asking yourself, well, how are we going to do this? What setup are we using? Well, uh, the scenario that I've set up for this video is we are essentially going to take all the knowledge that we've learned uh, during the Snort video, and we are going to essentially forward all of the Snort logs uh, into Splunk or have that done automatically through the Splunk uh, Universal Forwarder so that we get the latest logs when Snort is running on our Ubuntu virtual machine. Uh, and the objective here is to use Splunk uh, in conjunction with the Splunk Snort app uh, to essentially visualize and uh, identify or monitor network intrusions and any malicious uh, network traffic, uh, you know, within the network that I'm monitoring. So at a very high level, what will we be covering? Well, firstly, we'll get an introduction to Splunk. Now, before we move any forward or we actually carry on, I do want to note that this video is not going to be focused on Splunk fundamentals. I'm going to be uh, I'm going to assume that you already know what Splunk is and uh, how it can be used, uh, you know, uh, and, and how it's used generally speaking, because Splunk is not really a tool uh, that is specific to security, for example. Uh, that's why they have the Splunk Enterprise Security version or edition. And uh, I'm just going to assume that you know how to use Splunk at a very basic level. So once we get an introduction to Splunk, we'll go over Splunk Enterprise uh, Security at the Enterprise the Enterprise Security Edition and how it can be used for security event monitoring, especially in our case because we want to uh, essentially monitor uh, the intrusion detection logs uh, generated by Snort. Uh, so we'll then move on to deploying Splunk Enterprise Security on Linode, which is absolutely fantastic because they have a cloud image uh, available for it that allows you to spin it up without going through the process of installing it and configuring it. So that'll set up uh, that'll set it up for us. We'll then uh, take a look at how to configure Splunk uh, and how to set up the Splunk Universal Forder on the Ubuntu Virtual Machine that is running Snort, so that we can forward those logs into Splunk. Uh, and then, of course, we'll take a look at the Splunk Snort event uh, dashboard uh, that will be provided to us by the uh, Splunk Snort app. So if this sounds like uh, gibberish to you, don't worry. It will make sense in a couple of uh, in a couple of minutes. With that being said, uh, given the fact that we're going to be using, uh, you know, we're going to be using Snort to generate alerts and monitor those alerts. Uh, if you have not uh, gone through these, uh, the actual Snort video, please do that as it will help you set up Snort and uh, you can then run through this demo. With that being said, this is not a holistic video that will cover everything you can do with Splunk Enterprise Security. We are just focused on uh, the intrusion detection uh, logs produced by Snort and how they can be uh, imported or forwarded to Splunk uh, for uh, you know analysis and monitoring. Uh, so the prerequisites are the same as the previous videos. The only difference is, uh, you know, that you need to have a basic familiarity with Splunk and how to navigate around the various uh, menu elements and uh, yeah, essentially just how to use it at a very basic level. If you're not familiar with Splunk, uh, I'll give you a few resources at the end of the uh, at the end of these slides uh, that will help you out or help you get started. All right, so let's get an introduction to Splunk. So what is Splunk? That's the main question. If you've never heard of Splunk, Splunk is an extremely powerful platform that is used to analyze data and logs produced by systems or machines, as Splunk likes to call them. So what problem is Splunk trying to solve here? Well, 
let's look at this from the perspective of Web 2.0 or, uh, you know, the, uh, the interconnected world we live in today. And uh, we're going to be looking at it from the context of, or from the perspective of security. Uh, so if we take a simple system, let's say we have a Windows operating system or a system running Windows. Well, that Windows system produces a lot of data or logs uh, that, you know, that contain information that, you know, at a first glance might not seem that in important. But once you start getting into specific sectors like security, those logs start, uh, you know, the, those logs have, uh, you know, very important value to organizations. Now, multiply that by a thousand systems. So let's say we have an organization, they have a thousand computers within their network or, you know, distributed worldwide. And all of these systems are, uh, you know, need to be secured. Their security needs to be monitored. So how do we monitor all of this? Well, this is where Splunk comes into play. So Splunk allows you to essentially funnel all of this data produced by systems or machines uh, into Splunk. And then Splunk allows you to monitor, search and analyze this machine generated data and the logs through a web interface. So in order to use Splunk, you'll need to import your own data or logs. Alternatively, you can utilize the Splunk Universal Forder to forward logs and data to Splunk for analysis and, of course, visualization, etc. Now, Splunk does so much more that I really can't go over all of the features here. But as I said, we're looking at this from the uh, lens of a security engineer. All right, so Splunk collates all the data and logs from various sources and provides you with a central index that you can search through. Splunk also provides you with robust visualization and reporting tools that allow you to identify the data that interests you, transform the data into results, and visualize the answers in the form of a report, chart, graph, etc. All right, so what I'm saying here is that Splunk allows you to take all of this security-related logs and data and make sense of them and essentially get the answers that you're looking for. So for example, from the perspective of a security engineer, what do you want from all of this data? Well, at a very high level, you want to know whether something is going wrong and what could go wrong uh, in the context of security. A network could be compromised. There could be some malicious network traffic or activity going on. A system could be compromised, uh, et cetera, et cetera. You get the idea. So we need that data to be displayed to us as a security engineer. And Splunk is really one of the best tools, uh, you know, when it comes down to, you know, taking a lot of data uh, and then identifying the data that interests you, transforming that data into results, and then visualizing that data in the form of a report, chart, or, or graph, right? So that's really what we're going to be doing. And as I said, going back to the scenario, we're going to be focusing on how to, uh, you know, essentially get in or how to forward the logs created uh, or the logs and alerts created by uh, Snort into Splunk for analysis. And luckily for us, Splunk has a Snort app or plugin, if you will, that, uh, that will essentially simplify this process. So uh, let's get an idea as to, you know, how we can use Splunk for security event monitoring. So Splunk Enterprise Security, also known as Splunk ES, is a security information and event management solution, also known as a SIEM. Uh, it is used, to, by, is used by security teams to quickly detect and respond to internal and external attacks or threats or intrusions. So Splunk ES can be used for security event monitoring, incident response, and running a SOC or Security Operations Center. In this video, we'll be using Splunk ES to monitor and visualize the Snort intrusion alerts. This will be uh, facilitated through the help of the Snort app for Splunk and the Splunk Universal Forwarder. Now, the Splunk Universal Forwarder is pretty much the most important element of what we'll be exploring because what it does, and this is really cool, is it allow it automatically forwards the latest logs, uh, even when when Snort is running. It forwards those alerts and logs into Splunk, and you can see them in real time, which is absolutely fantastic. So, as I said, if you're new to Splunk, uh, then these resources are really helpful for you. So, Splunk offer really great tutorials and courses designed for absolute beginners. You can check that out by clicking on the link within this slide. And uh, you can learn more about uh, Splunk Enterprise uh, Security Edition from that particular link. Now, as I said, we're going to be deploying uh, Splunk 
on Linode, more specifically Splunk ES, and this is the lab environment. So we're going to spin up, uh, you know, Splunk ES on Linode. Now, again, to follow through with this, uh, you know, Linode has been absolutely fantastic with, uh, you know, by providing uh, all of you guys uh, with a way to get $100 in free Linode credit. All you need to do is just click the link in the description section and sign up and $100 will be added to your account so that you can follow along with this series. Um, so we're going to set up Splunk ES on Linode and then within my internal network, uh, we're just going to have a very basic infrastructure. We're going to have the Ubuntu virtual machine that is running Snort. This is the same virtual machine that we had set up and used uh, to set up Snort and set up Suricata and the one we had used with Wazoo. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's essentially it. We're going to have a very basic infrastructure where we have an attacker system that uh, I'm going to be using to perform uh, a, a bit of uh, you know network intrusion detection uh, emulation whereby I will essentially perform or run a couple of commands or uh, or scripts to essentially emulate malicious network activity so that these logs are uh, yeah, are essentially or so so this traffic is essentially logged and that'll provide us with a good idea as to how uh, helpful Splunk is for security event monitoring especially in the context of uh, network intrusions. Um, so as I said, you don't really need to have a Windows workstation. Uh, you simply need to have the Ubuntu VM and you can pretty much uh, run everything from it. And uh, of course, you can set up the Splunk Enterprise, um, Enterprise Security Server on Linode without any issues. I just want to take a couple of moments to thank our Patreons. Thank you, Michael Hubbard, Dustin Umpress, Jerry Speds, Doozy, Sid Saab, Ryan Carr, Shamir Douglas, Jojo Bibi, Balangos, Kushkev, RS, Nino Buikov, and David Bricker. You guys are really awesome. Thank you very much for supporting us. And you guys make these types of videos possible. So we really appreciate it. And we look forward to producing even more high quality content.